Hi friends, uh, pre in my previous video we discussed about slowly changing dimension and in particular slowly changing dimension 1 I explained in a practical demo. In this video in continuation of that uh, we are going to discuss about slowly changing dimension 2. So as I stated in the earlier video this is going to cover the full uh, history with the role level. Uh, and active record is being maintained okay that is the purpose and idea behind it and what are the steps uh, it's going to involve uh, in this scd2 and scd2 as i to told it can be uh, date based uh, type or flag based we can uh, categorize or version based uh, the three categories uh, in further uh, we can discuss but today we are going to take the date type in scd2 uh, for our discussion okay uh, when we talk about the implementation plan how the mapping going to be so basically we are going to take the EMP source table it holds 14 records and the lookup transformation we are going to take it uh, to find um, the the, the non-matching records so when I say non-matching records if there is any new records coming in so that will be considered non-matching record and if there is any change record coming in compared to the target from the source that's going to be updated record in updated record in slowly changing dimension since we are going to maintain a history the uh, <clears throat> the changes coming record uh, uh, the current record will become history and uh, and the changes record will go as a active record as an insert operation so to handle that uh, the expression transformation down to all lookup transformation we are going to combine and we are grouping the things into router like a case statement like a new record into oh, insert and change record using the data driven strategy update we are going to pause it and insert <coughs> as an active insertion and this is what finally we are going to pass it to the target from the router so i have already defined one uh, mapping for our quick uh, understanding let me walk oh, walk through that mapping uh, okay so this is the mapping what uh, we are going to discuss today see here the source as i told you the amp table i have already taken and this is look up the dim table dim emp sad2 underscore date here if you see simply we are going to take uh, uh, from the source one single column for compare the emp number uh, the key column we are going to make use of it and uh, and uh, dim emp sad2 ta table is the target table as i mentioned and this is the joining condition we are giving from the source to lookup okay and returning fields we are returning as is then we are getting into expression transformation here in the expression transformation we are defining four output port basically to differentiate insert operation and update operation as we know already so if there is a non-matching with the left out right join with the source and target so if there is uh, um, the new record comes in uh, just not matching um, in the target table it will return as uh, empty so in that case the boolean expression return true otherwise it will be false that is the idea behind it and next to that the source and target employee numbers are matching but the other attributes columns informations have been changed so to uh, by validating that we are setting the boolean expression to true or false okay so that will become an update port but addition to that to maintain the history so the starting date we are keeping as this date and end date will become 12 31 999 so this is how it has been set so this is date actually uh, with the uh, system variables we are taking the sys date in column that's it okay now uh, moving forward the router transformation based on the output port we are grouping into insert and update and from insert it will go to the insert target and update it will go to the uh, uh, we are uh, further subcategorizing into uh, insert as active record and the old record uh, will become 
only the key and the date we are updating that's it if you see that see here the employee number key and but one one more important thing is i'm not introducing any sequence to pass on to the surrogate key if you see here the surrogate the employee number key uh, uh, the surrogate key i'm not introducing here why because that has been internally handled in the database level if you see here i have introduced a row level trigger okay uh, what whenever the new record insert uh, even on insert even for each row level i am finding that employee number and increasing the sequence internally so it will be taken care so but, uh, with that note so both insert operation okay the new record as well as change record uh, uh insert operation uh, the uh, surrogate key uh, generation will be taken care with the help of the trigger okay so now let us try to uh, reproduce the same mapping from the scratch okay uh, 